Nine News with Peter Hitchener. Good evening. There's a chill in the Australia-US relationship tonight after details leaked of a hostile phone conversation between Donald Trump and Malcolm Turnbull. The new president berated the Prime Minister over a refugees resettlement deal, but he refused to be bullied. Here's Laurie Oakes. A grim-looking Donald Trump filmed from outside the Oval Office window as he spoke to Malcolm Turnbull by phone on Sunday Australian time. The White House claimed in a statement later the two leaders emphasised the enduring strength and closeness of the Australia-US relationship. In fact, they had a ding-dong row. I'm not going to comment on a, on a conversation between uh, myself and the President of the United States. But someone in the Trump administration had leaked details to the Washington Post, the new president badgering the Prime Minister over an agreement with the Obama administration late last year for asylum seekers held on Manus and Nauru to be resettled in America, telling Mr Turnbull, I don't want these people. This is the worst deal ever. And accusing the Australian leader of seeking to export the next Boston bombers. I'm very disappointed that there has been a... Leak. Everybody that we talked to just uh, characterised this call as, as really hostile. But Mr Turnbull refused to be bullied. I understand he told President Trump, you're a businessman, I'm a businessman, a deal is a deal. The President said angrily he'd spoken to other world leaders that day, including Russian President Vladimir Putin, and the Turnbull call was, quote, the worst call by far. But he would honour the arrangement. I stand up for Australia in every forum, public, or private. President Trump's aggression towards the leader of one of America's closest allies caused astonishment among diplomats and foreign policy analysts. What's usually a very warm relationship has suddenly cooled. There's been nothing comparable for 45 years. That, of course, was when Richard Nixon blew up at Labor Prime Minister Gough Whitlam for his criticism uh, of America's policy in Vietnam. And now the erratic Mr Trump has hinted via Twitter he might dud Mr Turnbull anyway. Do you believe it? The Obama administration agreed to take thousands of illegal immigrants from Australia. Why? I'll study this dumb deal. Less than two hours earlier, the US Embassy in Canberra had issued a statement that President Trump's decision to honour the refugee agreement has not changed. Did someone forget to tell the Donald? And Laurie joins me now live from Canberra. Laurie, what does this episode mean for our relationship with the United States? Well, Peter, it's certainly not going to be as warm and cosy as we're used to with a president who compares our Prime Minister unfavourably with Vladimir Putin. Clearly, Donald Trump is not averse to treating friends as bluntly as he treats his enemies, and he takes pride in being unpredictable. It's likely this will be... The, it's unlikely this will be the last time Mr Turnbull has to deal with presidential bullying. And Mr Turnbull's right, I think, not to aggravate President Trump any more than is necessary. Preserving the alliance is important. But the word from Washington is that assuming he sticks to the asylum seeker deal, President Trump will expect Australia to return the favour in the form of support for his foreign policy and military actions. And that's worrying. Remember, this bloke seems intent on provoking China. He's told his generals to come up with a military plan to deal with Islamic State. Our government will need to be very careful about what he might drag us into. All the way with LBJ was bad enough, but going all the way with someone as erratic as this bloke is not something you'd want to contemplate better.